Hey, what is going on guys? Hex comes back into the brand new video and yeah, I'm sorry. Yesterday I was gonna make a video. It wasn't gonna be this video actually, but you know things happened and I just couldn't get it out the time I wanted. AKA I got distracted playing Destiny. While live stream it, maybe. But today we're gonna be talking about anti heroes. What what are anti heroes? And I went into this a little bit in one of my other past videos about Azazel, but I didn't I called him an anti hero, but I didn't really go into what an anti hero is. Now a lot of you guys may know various anti-heroes, well at least you should, like obviously Azazel from High School DxD, and you have someone like, from a fairy tale, you have a Cobra. So anti-heroes are really cool characters and they're usually the characters that we're mostly attracted to actually, but we'll, we'll go into that for another video about why, why we like them so much. And now an anti-hero is simply someone who does good things but they don't really have heroic attributes they don't really have they don't really have a protagonist attributes they more they seem to have a lot of antagonist undertones to them they never really feel like they're good nor well i guess bad i guess they kind of feel like they're more bad than they are good now a lot of you may be getting like a jalal and cobra confused but don't do that an anti-hero isn't someone who simply is bad and then turns good it's someone who is good nor bad technically or technically he is good he's on the good you know he's technically one of the side protagonists of a, of a show he's technically good you know he's a supporter of the protagonist but yet he has these he just has these dark undertones i, I really want to reiterate that because jalal follows the basis of i'm good no i'm bad and then I'm good, so that he he doesn't have any attributes that you know that like cross paths that go both ways. Because when he's bad, he doesn't have any heroic undertones. He no, he he, he does, he's not a good guy. He's a bad guy. And when he turns good and the curse of Zareph is broken, he's strictly a bad person. I mean, a good person. Excuse me. He doesn't have any negative you know evil undertones about him. Now, if you're, if you're still looking at Cobra, Cobra he does help not to like in the games arc and you know the tournament game the magic games arc he helps not to and he comes to his aid whenever they need another dragon slayer to fight one the rock the rock dragon actually now technically some people would be like well then he's good then he's but whenever you look at the character does he seem good what are his true motives why is he doing this does he truly care about the greater good and helping not to them yeah, maybe you could say he he does have respect for Natsu because what have Natsu's done and how he's defeated him in battle, you know, because of his strength. But Cobra always has these, these just, once again, these evil undertones. Like, is he really doing it for them? As we find out, he wants to really, you know, to release the Arashio and Sage. And as we may know and as may have heard of, if you haven't, if you don't want to hear the spoiler, skip about 10 seconds. He, they do reestablish their Rashio and Stace underneath Jalal's arc, and that will be very soon in the future, but I know a lot of you guys have probably seen that spoiler, but I'm sorry. I warned you, though. So that's what it takes to be an anti-hero, and Azazel is the most perfect example of an anti-hero I've seen. He, I mean, he's the governor of the Fallen Angels, and but yet he helps the Rias, you know, Rias Grimry household. I mean, it makes no sense for a governor, you know, and technically... They have made a treaty, but why would the governor, the leader of the Fallen Angels, ever want to help the Devil's sister and grow the Devil's as a power, you know, grow her house strengths individually of the characters? Because what if the treaty were to break? What would happen then? And he always just seems to have something about him that's just... It is just like, oh my god, there's something There's something he's up to. There's there's something in the end game to him. Even Rhea Scrimmery states it whenever she's talking to her mom and father that she thinks that they're going to be the ones and or we're, and or we're going to be the ones that are going to regret this. As always, guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I hope that clears stuff up for you. If you have more questions, be sure to leave it down in the comments below and be sure to smash the shit out of that subscribe button. Yeah. And wave your thumbs up in the air and smash that button like you just don't care. Follow me on Twitter at Hex25. Gosh, that joke was...